We recently made a community post pertaining to the remarkable yet little known or indeed studied discovery made within the extremely ancient city of Petara in modern day Turkey. And due to popular demand, we are going to cover this peculiar artifact in greater depth. As mentioned, although there are many archaeological sites within Turkey, and particularly within this region, this peculiar feature is rarely discussed within modern academic or archaeological circles, and once you realize what this enormous relic might have once been, you may realize why. Known as the ancient aqueduct of Patera, it was once a series of tubular systems hewn from solid sandstone, presumably running from settlement to settlement. Some parts clearly displaying a significant level of erosion, indicating a truly colossal antiquity that has, unfortunately, made reconstruction of some of the pipes quite difficult. Claimed to be that of the Romans, used for transportation of water, however, what is interesting regarding Patera, and indeed many other ancient sites claimed by the Romans as their own constructions, is that it too holds some unexplainable features, things that separate it from the other, more standard Roman architecture. It seems for many ancient, highly eroded sites found around our world, the culprit for construction is often put upon the most convenient candidate, completely absent of any explanation regarding construction. In 1993, a monumental pillar was discovered at Patera, on which is a Greek dedication to Claudius and an official announcement of the building of roads by the governor, Quintus Veranius Nepos, in giving place names and distances essentially an entire public itinerary, yet alas, they forgot to mention the enormous undertaking that was the aqueduct. One has to wonder, where did the Romans get all their ingenious ideas? Were they all originals? Or perhaps, as we have posited in the past, akin to the ancient Egyptians, had some helpful head starts from a once far more capable, far more knowledgeable people who left structures still standing to this day? The little research that we have unearthed regarding the original site does indeed indicate that Patera's ancient piping system is in fact not Roman, but the origin of the Romans' inspiration when it came to the creation of their own piping systems. Even the original settlement and building of Patera was attributed to and named after Patera, son of Apollo, a great deity, a mythical figure. It pertains to a first, highly eroded, perplexing stretch of 5.4 kilometers along the steep western slope of Kisla Mountain, down to the community of Akbel. Details from RomanAqueducts.com regarding the research is as follows, quote, It originally consisted of a masonry channel, presumably of Hellenistic age, of which only scant relics remain. This stretch was later replaced, probably by the Romans, by a single line of 55 to 58 centimeter long ceramic pipes. The pipeline was laid directly on the ground, alongside the abandoned channel, and locally positioned on low rocks or in cut rocks." End quote. Are we looking at a far more ancient, far more advanced relic than one is first led to believe? A relic later replicated to a certain degree by the Romans for their own ends. We find the evidence to suggest such highly compelling.